In this video, we're going to work through and find the exact value for the sine of 21 degrees, and we're going to do so using the difference formula for sine, and it has this expansion here where I need four different values. And actually, all four values that we're going to use are going to be right here. And none of these seem like they're really nice uh, values for sine, not like 30 degrees or 60 degrees. But I have videos for all four of these where I do a lot of the heavy lifting already. I find each of these four values from scratch in their own videos, and all of those videos have links in, uh, in the description for this video down below, so be sure to check those out. These are much more interesting videos than this one's going to be. Since all the heavy lifting was done previously, I can just go ahead and grab those values and plug them in here, and we can find the sine of 21 degrees fairly easily. So let's go ahead and use this difference formula. So we're going to use the sine of 36 degrees minus 15 degrees. And of course, 36 minus 15 is going to be my 21 degrees. So that expansion is going to be the sine of 36 degrees times the cosine of 15 degrees minus the sine of 15 degrees times the cosine of 36 degrees. Okay? Well, these values, all of these are sines, but it looks like some of these are cosines. Well, sine and cosine have a really nice relationship with one another, where the cosine of one angle is going to be equal to the sine of the complement of that angle. So since 15 degrees and 75 degrees are complementary angles, instead of saying the cosine of 15, I can just use the sine of 75 because that value I have already, and I've already worked that out. So, so the sine of 36, that's going to be the square root of 2 divided by 4 times this square root expression. And then the cosine of 15 degrees, which I'm going to use the sine of 75, is going to be the square root of 6 plus the square root of 2 over 4. And from that, I'm going to subtract the sine of 15 degrees, which is going to be uh, the square root of 6 minus the square root of 2, uh, yeah, all over 4. And then multiply that by, well, the cosine of 36. Once again, we're going to change this into a sine and say the sine of 54, because 54 and 36 degrees are complements of one another. So 1 fourth times the quantity, radical 5, plus 1. Okay, so that's what this looks like. So really the only job we have to do is to go ahead and simplify this and see how nice we can make it. So the denominators down here, 4 times 4 is 16. And I'm going to go ahead and factor out a radical 2 here to put with the square root of 2 that's out there already. So the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is a real 2, and then I have 2 over 16, so that will reduce to 1 eighth. And then uh, I'll go ahead and put this part next with that square root of 2 factored out, and it'll be the square root of 3 plus 1, and then times this uh, radical expression here. And from that we're going to subtract, and I think I'm going to go ahead and factor a square root of 2 out again and put that over 16 just so we can have some similar values and keep things nice and consistent. And then that's just going to be multiplied by that. So this doesn't look fantastic, and some of these sine values really aren't, but at least we have an exact value instead of some irrational decimal that we uh, have to round or we have no idea what's going on with it. So this is going to equal the sine of 21 degrees. And uh, let's go ahead and grab a calculator, and I can double check that this works. Okay, so here's our calculator. So let's go ahead and take the inverse sign, and we'll put this ratio in, and we'll see if we get 21 degrees. So it's this whole thing. So let's start by taking the 1 eighth and multiplying that by the square root of 3 plus 1, and then we'll multiply that by that square root expression there, and then we'll jump out of the radical, minus, and then we'll take the square root of 2 divided by that 16, multiplied by the square root of 3 minus 1, multiplied by the square root of 5 plus 1. Let's close all that stuff up, and we get 21 degrees. So, fabulous. 
So it worked out very nicely. So here you go, the exact value for the sine of 21 degrees. And again, I would encourage you to go ahead and check out the videos for these other sine values. I worked those out from scratch. And those are much more interesting videos to watch.